Hi guys, welcome back. It's part three of my Dead Kings playthrough. Uh, if you remember, I got stuck a little as you left us in part two. Uh, but they're all dead, so that's good. So let's loot them here. Apron, of course. This guy's gone. So, if you remember, I found the Abbey. I'm now trying to find the library, which I, I thought was going to be upstairs and obviously isn't. Um, so I'm still trying to track it down. Oh look, it's there. It's downstairs. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Head down there. So, oh, back I. That's gonna hurt, mate. Sorry. Right. Don't need a lamp. What the hell? Oh, two guys here. I'll try and air assassinate them, maybe. Oh, no, just got one of them. Ah, right, how about. Oh, dear. I have to admit, blood splatter is quite impressive in this, right. A sneak round here. It's got to be a back window. Or... No, there's not a back window. Right, okay. Go down this corridor. They're all going to be watching it. Yeah, okay. Right. Hey! No. no, I won't. There we go. Rah! Fine, no, this not only that, list. Still in our camp. You did not hear that from me, obviously. Oh, don't be anonymous. Oh, brilliant. Empty. Oh. Don Poirier's list. It reads Condorcet Manuscript, located in the old red house, and then a name, Leon. Let's get, I finally got through this first mission, it's quite long um, compared to some of the missions in the main game, this is uh, a good length. So let's drop down here. Assassinations in this. Right, let's see if we can just. Uh, you too! Ah, uh, the classic. Ah, we're done! Right. Okay, so that's the first part of this mission done. Memory, sequence, or whatever you want to call it. Let's just uh, get rid of this pursuer. <coughs> ah! 
Right, okay. Rather than um, jumping straight into another mission, I thought I'm probably going to have just <coughs> a little bit of a look around this town because um, this is a new area for uh, the um, DLC. Uh, it's a completely new town. And uh, I just want to get a, well, you know, I say I just want to have a look around. What I want to do is get some chests and some collectibles. So if I do that now, we'll just have a little look around and then maybe try and dip back into a mission. This is something about Unity that really does uh, impress me, is that the, the openness of buildings, you know, I know they've had, they tried to do this in Assassin's Creed 3, but it's just very much a kind of dr forced, you can go through a building, but now they're actually open, you can wander around people's houses. Although, if you own the game, have a look around Paris, the amount of uh, buildings that have uh, ground floor, uh, ground, ground floors that you can access that have no stairs leading to the first floor that you can also access via a wall. How do these people get up there? There's, there's no stairs. It's really weird. Okay. Oh, okay, let's get a hat. Five and seven. Oh, that's too much. I may just have to track these other two down. Just head to this chest. Oh, maybe not that way. Now, some of these initiate chests unlock uh, uniforms. Collectibles or cash. Okay, what else is there to look at? Right, so this is the map of the town uh, with the different districts. You can see I've only done one viewpoint, so I can only see the items in one area. Um, maybe I'll. If I want to go back to Paris. Can I do that? Can I, how do I go back to Paris? I thought I'd be into like this area. No. There's still quite a lot to do in this little area. Oh look, here it is. Yeah. Right, back in Paris, I skipped the loading screen. Um, so I just want to nip back to Paris just to kind of just show you how different the game looks in Dead Kings. You know, Paris is always beautifully lit, sunshine, um, very warm looking place and the, the city in uh, Dead Kings is, is dark and gloomy, a very Dark Souls-esque, you know, that kind of gothic gloom. I know. Let's just get my cash. The riots are getting worse. I was worried. Oh, don't you worry about me, Monsieur. I know right. enough. Let's head back to um, this town. Francaise. That's what I always forget the name of that. Right. Here we are, back in Francaise. Skipped the <laughs> this way again, of course. I mean, really, I wanted to get stuck into another mission today. Um, it's getting pretty late, I'm getting tired. Um, maybe I'll just try and do some more uh, chests and collectibles. Probably just maybe get a viewpoint done so I can see the whole map. Oh, right, right. This is the thing that you notice in the, the, the NPCs. There seems to be a lot more life in them than in the past, you know, the, they fight, the factions fight with themselves, the whole 
Batman-esque type uh, criminal undertakings that you can endanger. It's just, you know, it does seem more alive. I know there's issues, and sometimes it doesn't work very well, but when it does work, it works really well. Right, so I'm going to head to this viewpoint, which is, uh, well, let me guess, probably a, t a church. It tends to be churches, doesn't it? There we go. It's not. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that, it's a windmill. Oh, that's amazing. Just get up here. L literally the top of the highest point. It is, wow. Gosh. Just... You've got a lot of synchronising viewpoints in Assassin's Creed, it's just so good. Whoa. Still it. That's right, right. Let's just go and see there's another niche chest around the corner here, so I'll just pick this up. Um, I just want to say, you know, I really appreciate it. I've, now I've got a, a few views, and I'm still fairly new at doing all of this, but I really appreciate all the people who have taken interest in the video so far. Um, if you want to take a look at more of my stuff, um, of course, my website, which has been running now for a very long time, uh, at two do, two little gamers .co .uk. Um, We've got the YouTube channel, which has its own little niche. I've uh, got some interesting little videos and trailers on there. Um, give us a subscribe, and if you like this video, please like it because I mean, all the, all your support means the world to us. So. Um, See if I can just uh, squeeze one more chest in. Let's try and take these guys out as stealthily as possible. One. Nice. Just to prove that I can be an assassin occasionally. Uh, if I use my. What have I got? Phantom Blade, maybe? Phantom Blade's been the uh, wrist mounted knife launcher. It was introduced in Unity. There we go. You won't get past. What is it this time? Right, let's check this guy around the corner. Oh, he's oblivious. That's great. Right, uh, let's do a cherry bomb. Childish, I know, but it works. Throw one over there. Oh, what was that? Oh. It was death. Knocking on the door. Right. Last guy. Try and get a cover kill on him. Huh. Right, guys. I'll just loot these guys. I'm going to take my reward from the chest over there. Um, probably going to leave it now and uh, I'll be back soon part 4 coming uh, we'll get stuck into the missions and have a more deeper look into the world of Dead Kings uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on uh, this playthrough